This is the story of Mrs. Sani. Actually, she born in a Christian household. She went to Christian school. She grew up in a country where the Christianity was in dominant, right? So this is that story of a woman. Basically, what happened with her and how she been through the situation and eventually what she did that she get to know about Islam and she finally converted to Islam. So basically, it's an amazing story, heart touching story. This is the woman. She was describing her story by saying, when I was 14 years old, you know, since I born till 14 years, I was just Christian. I grew up as a, a Christian, right? My family members, my parents, they were Christian and they were supporting me and they were giving me guidelines about the Christianity, nothing else. And I was going to church and doing all kind of expected or respected things. When I grow up and get to know that basically there are some doubts in my mind uh, about Christianity and there is some question well nobody is here who can help me to solve all my problem what did I do I decided with my own self to become as an atheist non-believer not believing on anything except or apart from him his own self right uh, I'm, so I'm talking about her she was describing her story by saying when I grew up and uh, you know, touch the age 14, I decided with my own self that I will not do any more belief on the God. I don't have to put my trust on the God. What I do, it will happen. What I don't, nothing will happen. And whatever is happening, life, or, you know, evolution, those all kind of things are true. So she became atheist at the age of 14. But, and, you know, three to four years, uh, you know, constantly, uh, constantly, she was a, uh, she was a, she was an atheist, not believing on the God, not prostrating to the God, uh, right? And she was hang around with the people and their parents. They were not responding anywhere. I mean, their parents were not forcing her that why did you live as a uh, uh, Christianity? What did you done? She was free from everywhere, right? So she spent three to four years as an atheist. Then she. Uh, got married she got an age and the age of 24 uh, sorry 21 she got married when she got married her husband was basically a christian so she been till to uh, 20 uh, 25 years i mean uh, up to 25 years she been as a as a christian and then she broke up with her husband and basically what happened she got divorced and when she got divorced right she decided with her own self that you know nobody will support me she became frustrated and disappointed from her life and she thought herself that now i'll become a strong version of myself as an atheist i don't want to believe on god because god is not real she thought but you know who knows what the God decided for you, you're going to get that. And you can't deny that, right? So that's what happened with her. Then she was passing her life and, you know, that time was passing. And with the passage of time, she thought herself that I'm lying to myself. There must be a God. There will be somebody who's going to actually controlling this world because the evil lives. So there will be some good as well you know, for the compensation of the evil. So that's what she thought herself. And she, you know, she made a decision with her own self. Now I'll take all the religious scripture and I'll actually uh, started a reading from the beginning of the scripture to the end of the scripture. And whichever structure, uh, scripture is true in my favor, basically I'll embrace and accept that one scripture and I'll follow that one religion because I need the God. I need somebody who can control or guide me or push me forward to control all my emotions. That's what she taught herself, right? And eventually what happened and basically, and the one interesting thing that she did at that time when she was collecting the scripture and, you know, systematically she put the books, uh, you know, from the bottom to the top. She actually on the bottom, the most bottom, she took the book Quran, the Holy Quran, because of what? Guess what? Basically, she has been, uh, you know, brainwashed uh, by social media. She's been misguided by social media. She's been thought that, yeah, 
that all the evils that is happening and all the terrorist attack and these all kind of problematic things that are happening and the word that's because of the Muslim because that's what put in her mind by social media she didn't have any knowledge she didn't have any idea but she, what she saw what she heard basically she embraced that and she uh, you know apparently showed that, that uh, then to the world that was her reaction to Islam right and she thought that you know before reaching to this book I'll find the truth but who knows the God decided something else the God wanted her to accept and read out the holy book Quran right and what she did that's going to be so much interesting she finished from the from Christianity to Satanism right she finished all the books and she became disappointed and she thought herself oh there's no god there's no truth nothing is the outside right what am i i'm right right but she didn't think even for a while that the book that i remain at the end at the last will be the final book and the truthful and will make uh, you know me convince and solve all my problem and guide me on the right way and that was the Holy Quran when she started the Holy Quran she didn't believe she thought oh that's going to be just as usual just that's going to be just and when I will not get any kind of knowledge that's going to be normal but who knows you know the God decided for her so when she started the book from beginning to the end she found the truth and basically she thought herself all my question that emerged from my mind that emerged from all the ideas that i had the thoughts that i had about my religious scripture all the problems have been solved by that one book wow that's amazing and eventually what the people does when they found the uh, respected or they found the respected or they found the things for which the person is starving right and thriving so that was basically the main idea that she got from the holy quran you know she thought that the jesus peace and blessing be upon him is described as the best way possible and he's having the same characteristic of the humans but of course he was a blessed person chosen among the human beings and he was a prophet and that's why he got the you know uh miraculous things right and that's what every prophet is getting so she decided with her own self and she didn't wait for a while she accepted or embraced islam right so that's what am i saying to you people if you are watching my video and you are muslim that acknowledge that one thing that Allah is true and Allah will actually guide you the right way but if you having the intention the power one right you want to search for the truth you want to do the things that can please the God if you are doing the things that can please the God then obviously the final destiny of you will be you know the pleasing moment satisfaction you know forget about that you will forget definitely and ultimately about all kind of uh, you know hypocrisy that is happening all kind of problematic thing you're going to be said to your own self what can I do that's what can I do as basically I've been blessed with and I can do it and the rest of the thing that are seems complicated God knows better and I put my trust on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he's going to do for me or guide me the right way to solve all my problem so what am I saying ladies and gentlemen my brother and sister please it is the holy month of Ramadan start the holy Quran from the beginning to the end finish then once and if you get the time finish that again as well because you know the life is not eternal the one life which is going to be eternal forever and where the happiness going to be real that's just the image or duplicate form of those real life right it is here after and you know the life and the grave going to be so much typical whomever prepared well going to get a reward and will have help over there or those people who didn't done anything and doing astonishing claiming them it's not going to worth this person right so that's all from my side if the video was informative from any aspect share that with your friends uh press the like button and 
nothing else that's what I want because I want and I need the people to watch my videos and I'm putting all my efforts I'm doing every single day hard work as to make my clients the better way possible to become you know great influencer to become the person who can guide the people toward God and can push the people from propagandas and from all kind of inclination to a power where, where the person can acknowledge and see the truth. All right, thank you so much for watching my video. Until next time, learn math.